today I'm going to be freeze drying some fruit. We are in between um, harvest at our garden. So we've decided to just do some random stuff. So I have this huge mango that is ripe and ready to be eaten, but we won't eat it in time. So I'm going to freeze dry it. And then I've got this big can of diced peaches. Um, it will stay fine in this can, but it's very, very, very heavy and really bulky to store. So I want to freeze dry this so that it's easier to store and it'll be lighter. Um, if I have any extra room on the trays, I'll probably put some baby food on there to store. But other than that, I will show you my trays once I get them loaded up. I thought I would show you this fun mango trick while I was doing this. So um, you cut your mango in half on the seed and then to get the peel out, what you do is you put it on the edge of the cup and you push. It's hard to do. And you push it down. And it peels your mango for you perfectly. It's really easy and fun. My trays are all loaded up. They're actually all the same color, like this pretty orange yellow. So I've got my peaches, my diced peaches on these three trays. Um, I got my mangoes sliced here. I did long slices. And then I've got my baby food here. It's sweet potato corn. And so I'm gonna pop these in the freeze dryer and I'm really excited to see how they turn out. I'm checking my food now. It has been 40 hours. We have our baby food on top. Very crunchy. That's totally done. We've got mango slices and our peaches. It looks like everything's done. I'm going to go ahead and check them all and then I'll show you how to package them. Okay, so here's our finished product. We've got these nice mangoes and the peaches. And then this is just the baby food that I threw in. Um, with the baby food, you want to make sure it's all dry. Sometimes it gets a little sticky. So just poke the fat parts. Make sure it's dry. This one's totally dry. These actually make an awesome snack, the mangoes and the peaches. They're really delicious and they have a lot of flavor in them. Um, I'm going to show you how to how they reconstitute and kind of see what they taste like when they have water back in them. As far as storage goes, I'm going to put these all in Mylar bags separately. Um, I'm going to powder up the baby food so that it's nice and easy to reconstitute. And then the peaches I'm just going to throw in a bag um, that we can use. You could probably use it for cobbler or um, other desserts like that or to just reconstitute. So I'll show you. I'm gonna, I have my, I have some bowls right here. So I'm gonna just throw my mango in one of these bowls. I'm gonna grab a peach and throw it in the other bowl. And then this baby food, I'm just gonna take a little scoop. I have another video that talks about baby food and how to, um, how it reconstitutes. This is a vegetable kind, which probably isn't very good to just eat as a snack, but it could be, I don't know. Here is my reconstituted food. So the very easiest thing to reconstitute is baby food. Um, I put a little too much water in, but it's just the easiest, so fast. I didn't even powder this and it just turned right into the liquid. So that's a go. I've got the mango sitting in here. And I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of just like disintegrated a little bit. So I'm going to taste it, see what it tastes like. I think, I don't know how to, part of it's done and part of it's not. So it might have needed to be in there a little bit longer, but it tastes just like mango. And then the peach kind of feels squishy. I'll taste it. Yeah, that needs a little longer. But it tastes like a peach. So there's how you freeze dry mangoes, peaches, and more baby food. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.